so Dee Dee, you are going to be at the Wells Art Contemporary this Saturday doing a walk and talk. So yeah, so um, Wells Art Contemporary is the exhibition and mm -hmm. it is at Wells Cathedral. Other artists are doing the other talks. I think I'm the only one that's doing a talk every Saturday. And the last one is this Saturday. I was asked uh, if I wanted to do the art tour and I wrote back and said, um, I would like to, but it kind of depends on what you want the art tour to be um, because these are my thoughts, which is, there are two things. One is I think people are terrified of contemporary and modern art. Mm -hmm. um, and from experience, lots of people who don't go to galleries um, when they come across it in another environment, just kind of go, I don't get it, it's not for me. I was very keen to sort of make modern and contemporary art more available to those kinds of people. And secondly, I believe as an artist, we make work and we have complete conviction and we are very authentic about what we're trying to message through that work um, as best we can. But I also believe that uh, when you put the artwork out into the world, it then belongs to the viewer. So what I do is I take people around on the tour and I basically try and get them to critique the work, you know, you know, bear, bearing in mind that they have to be respectful because every artist that puts work out into the world is kind of going, yeah, here I am. Mm -hmm. uh, and what they don't want people then to do is start being mean. Um, that doesn't mean to say that you have to like everything. Um, but I think meeting a work of art can sometimes be a bit like meeting a person. You might be completely bowled over by them, only to kind of meet them again and go, well, it's kind of, you were great when I first met you, you were quite impressive when I first met you, but there kind of isn't much more. And then there are other work, there are other people you meet and you think, oh, you're quite quiet. I don't know if I can be bothered. But then over time, if you spend time with them, you just go, actually, you're really interesting. And I think art's like that. Yeah. You're, you're going to be there on Saturday to do the talk. How long does that talk last, the talk, walk and talk? How long will you be? It take, It's an hour. And, and I have rules, which is um, you can stay for as long as you like and leave when you want. If you're not enjoying it, then leave. And you don't have to join in. And you are allowed to say, I really don't like that. But mm. then I will expect a second sentence from you telling me why. Even if it's just, it really makes me feel uncomfortable. Ooh. So there is a QR code in the top of the screen. Sign up for the 27th Walk and Talk. That will take you to the Wells Contemporary website form that you can add your name to the list. Whereabouts will people be meeting to start this walk? Um, if it's the first entrance as you come in, you, you, there's no other way of getting in. And then um, the volunteers for Wells Art Contemporary have done an amazing job. They've got like a stand and they will actually ask you if you want to go on the tour. You can see Hostile at Wells Art Contemporary until Sunday the 28th. I'll be joining Dee Dee to capture her walk and talk on Saturday. To book a space, use the QR code on the screen. Check out Dee Dee's site. And you can find her on Twitter at DD Deborah Davis and on Insta on at Deborah Davis Art. Mm -hmm.